Hey, this is Mike with Intel, and I'm here with my teammates, Sean Holmes on camera, and Nadia Banks. Hey. And we just received a Samsung all-in-one PC, and we're going to unbox it and give you some of the rundowns of the cool technology. All right, well, we've already cut through the tape, so we're just going to open it up and see what's inside. Got a lot of good packaging in here. <laughs> this is a pretty device. You definitely want to make sure it's secure in there. Cool. Got a box. Keyboard and mouse. For those that don't know what an all-in-one PC is, it's basically the new style of desktop PCs that you may have in your home, where traditionally you have the box and the monitor. Now everything is inside the monitor itself. So it's very sleek and it's clutter-free. So there's going to be just one cable to connect everything. So we'll show you how all that works. So inside the box we have the PC itself. There's still some packaging that we have to work through. I'm going to take this piece of foam out. a separate box, too. One more box. Let's see what's in here. Lucky box in yeah. Alright, we have mouse pad, quick start guides, some information, other quick guides. Uh, here is the power connector. And so this is really the only cable that you need to get this PC up and running. So we'll show you how that all works. I think we're ready to actually bring out Maybe not. One more phone. One more phone. Phone piece. Now I think you can get it out. Ready? Okay. All right. Don't drop it. Oh, oh it's not too heavy. There we go. Unless Mike just lifted all of it and I just pretended to. <laughs> I mean, it's it's got some heft in terms of weight, but... But it's thin. Look at this. Nice. Very thin. Very sleek. Very nice. This is the entire PC, so you don't need another box or anything. This is a 27-inch full-touch screen featuring a Core i7 processor. So it's the top-of-the-line processor from Intel, so you get a lot of performance. What's nice is you don't have to actually do any assembling of the unit itself. So it comes with an optical disk drive for your DVDs and CDs and everything like that. On this other side, we have a little compartment with two USB 3.0 ports and you have an SD port where you can put a memory card. So if you have memory card from your cameras, just pop them in there and be able to load all your photos. And then there's a microphone jack and a headphone jack. On the back, I wanted to show you this. There's a compartment that you can unscrew and you can add additional memory. So this comes with eight gigs of RAM, but you can add additional memory for even better performance when you're multitasking and, and doing multiple things at once. So actually, I want to kind of I want to lay it down so that you can see the ports on the bottom. Oh, there's a lot more. Got more USB. Got the HDMI. Two HDMI. And here's the power connector that we'll plug into right now. And it also has a, a little locking, a slot for a locking wire, so you can lock this thing down if you're if you're at the office. You got the mouse and keyboard. Yeah. So we've got a nice little mouse pad that comes with it. I haven't used one in a long time. It's like a very decorative denim. So for the mouse, it says, please insert the receiver into the USB 2.0. So there is a port located on the bottom rear of the PC. Oh, that's kind of cool. So when I open it for the battery, the USB thing's right inside. The receiver? Yeah. This is the receiver for any wireless mouse and keyboard. You don't have to use the one that comes with it. But all you have to do is plug it in to one of the USB ports. Let's see here. It's so small you don't really notice that it's there, which there is nice. Go. So there are three USB ports at the base of this PC, and we've just plugged in the USB wireless receiver there so that we can have a wireless keyboard and mouse. And then what you see here is a very thin power cable, and this is the only thing that gets connected to this PC to have it run. A little power button on the bottom right. So the first time that you, you turn it on, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's initializing everything for the first time use. First thing you have to do for Windows Shall 8. Shall try the touch? Pick your language. Click Next. It worked. Nice. Let's see. United States, English, U.S. Yep. Sounds about right. Oh. Whoa. 
a lot of license terms. You want to read to those all out loud? Yeah. Sure. Maybe so. Here, you have to click the box at the bottom left first. Okay. And then here's where you get to personalize the Windows experience by choosing the color of the background and then giving your PC a name. So this one we'll just call it Samsung AIO. What's your favorite color? Green. Oh, thanks. Pink. Pink? All right. You want to use the on-screen keyboard or you, you want to use the on-screen? Why don't we try the regular keyboard? I'll just call it a uh, Samsung AIO. So what was nice is I didn't even have to connect the keyboard to the receiver. You're yeah. right, it did automatically. And here it's asking you for the wireless network. So if you're at, at your home, you can just connect it directly. In this case, we're not going to connect it yet, so we'll click connect to a wireless network later. And that's at the bottom here. And we're going to just click next to use the express settings. And then here you can give the PC, you know, give it a username for somebody who's logging in. So in this case, we'll just put admin. Mm -hmm. And we'll just leave no password there. And then just click enter. I like using the touch screen. <laughs> yeah, the touch screen is nice and you get used to it. It'll take a couple of minutes for it to set up Windows 8 for the first time. And while it's doing that, it'll give you instructions on the touch gestures and what you can do with Windows 8. So we'll come back to you in about a minute or so. Okay, so we just uh, loaded up. We're at the main start screen for Windows 8 here. One of the things to note is that we've got a terabyte worth of storage in this thing. So as thin and sleek as it may look, you can pack a whole lot of movies, pictures, music, you name it. So it looks like Samsung has already some preloaded apps here, like Jamie Oliver's Recipes, which I personally use a lot at home. It's, it's a great one. Uh, we've got Netflix, Fresh Paint. We've got some games here. So why don't we try Shark Dash? which is one of the games that comes preloaded on the system. It's a free game that you can download from the Windows Store. And let's see how it runs. Oh, the sound is nice. Yeah. Is it up full blast right now? Let's see. It's a full blast now. Got pretty good sound on them. All right, let's try this out here. So you can see it's a full touch screen. Graphics look pretty good on it too. Don't roll the screen. The screen is bright. It's very vibrant. Yeah. Very interesting. All right. Startup. Okay. So the object of the game is to capture as many ducks as possible by flinging the shark. Oh. Okay. Let's pull the shark down. Oh, we shot it by a little bit. I'm a pro at this game, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, those were, that was pretty lame, but you get the idea. And so, when we want to go back, all we have to do is use the hand gesture on Windows 8 to close an application and then you can bring up the side menu just like that and you can come back to the start menu at any time by pushing the start button. So really with an all-in-one like this and it's touch screen you can put it anywhere in your house and it's something that's great your kids can play with too really yeah. easily. Yeah one of the nice things is you can set up an account for each person so each person could have their own customized start screen with all their personal apps and files accessible. You can use it with or without the keyboard and mouse because it is full touch screen. So it gives you a lot of flexibility like that. But again, very thin PC with just one cable and you have a wireless keyboard and mouse as an option. And it has all of the ports that you would need. It has multiple memory slots, it has the USB ports, so you can plug in any of your different devices and cameras and printers. And there you go, that's your full PC. It's an all-in-one PC.